Hey guys, it's your pal Peter here with another episode of my Cinderella story. Um, I have advanced the story along a little bit. When I last left you guys, it was Sunday, and Cinder had hung out and became best friends with Fairy Godmother, and I just basically fast-forwarded them through their week. Um, they did have prom this week. Um, prom, or as you can see, um, Cinderella went with Edwin Oss. Um, they just basically were friends, and then uh, Cinder invited them over, and they hung out once. And I guess Prom took them over the edge and made them romantic interests. So now she has a romantic interest early. So. Got somebody to go on a date with, probably her potential Prince Charming here, because I don't really want to spend the time to have her get close to somebody else. Um, and also, yesterday for them, Drusilla aged up to a young adult, so Drusilla is already a young adult. Today is Anastasia and... Um, Cinder's birthday, and then tomorrow is Lady Tremaine's birthday. Oh, no, she's got two days, and then she's a senior citizen. Ha, 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 ha. Poor old lady. So, yep, today is her birth, or yesterday was Drusilla's birthday. She's already a day into hers. And she's humiliated. Uh, she was humiliated at her party. I don't know why, but she was humiliated. And I, she came up with the option to be a gold digger as well. But her mother already has that wish, so I gave her the uh, swimming in cash because she's kind of like her mother. She wants. To find a wealthy man and be pampered and taken care of so she can continue living the way she is now. Um, she's got a close friend that's still a teen because she just aged up. So all of these teenagers in town are going to be aging up here pretty soon. Um, also, through the course of the week, um, Fairy Godmother also became a senior citizen. She became an elder. And so everybody's aging up. It's getting to that point in the year and the story. Today is Friday and it's actually spooky day. So the girls are aging up on a three day weekend and they will no longer have to go to school. Um, Cinder has gotten up just, or has been basically cleaning the house all morning. And as you can see, there's quite a few booby traps around. I had Cinder set most of them, except for that one, Anastasia set, and I don't know who set the sink. I'm guessing probably Anastasia. She likes to do that a lot. I don't know who set that sink either. And yep. So we are basically at the point where um, Cinder's going to be becoming a young adult, so we can either get her a car, a um, computer, or a musical instrument. And as you may notice here, I also added on to Cinder's house. I gave her a second story. This is her bedroom area, and then down here I just gave her a full kitchen. So I just noticed now, too, that we kind of need to give her a living room, too. But maybe we'll wait until she has a boyfriend, I guess. Or no, I maybe I'll edit it here in a minute if there's a lull in the action. Um, right now we have a birthday party for Cinderella 
and Anastasia at 1 p.m. If you look at their relationship meter, um, Anastasia and uh, Cinder no longer really hate each other. They've actually been bonding, and um, Anastasia and Drusilla have been doing a lot of fighting, so... I don't know. It's kind of the way the Disney movie went as well. Um, in the Disney movie, Anastasia ended up kind of befriending Cinder over time, so I figured why not go along with the movie, so... Oh, the first guest has arrived. You better get out the cakes. So, one for Cinder and one for Anastasia. And Anastasia, you better, uh, Uh, change outfit every day. Oh, looks like we gotta get Cinder a new umbrella, too. Dimbo Queep? Oh, Blondagon. And this gentleman here, Jonas, is the one that uh, has a crush on Drusilla and Loki. I don't know where Loki is. Uh, Loki, I think, was in the blue that ran outside that brought the blue jello. Um, Cinder. They're talking to the ugly, scary boy. But who's that? Wow, we have a four-star celebrity that just invited herself to... There is Anastasia's romantic interest right there. So... Okay, we're gonna go ahead and have Anastasia blow out those, and Cinder blow out these. Because basically I just brought, or I just invited Cinder's closest guy friend, Drusilla's closest guy friend, and Anastasia's closest guy friend. Well, and Fairy Godmother, but she seemed to have ran away already. But we got a celebrity to crash the party as well. So we will go ahead and age these guys up, and then I'll take you guys into Creative Sim to change their outfits. As you can see, I changed Drusilla basically into what she was wearing as a teen, just changed it into adult clothing instead of teen clothing. Okay, because of her successful miss in school, we can pick a trait for Anastasia, and she got lucky. Oh my. I do apologize. Um, yeah. I do apologize, but uh, we'll just pick this one for her. You're going to see a little nudity here. I do apologize, but uh, I will make it quick as possible. I did not know that she was going to age up into a naked, half-naked outfit. <laughs> So I do apologize for the little PG-13 boob action we're about to get here. Chabadu.
Oh, they put a top on her. Good. I was afraid she was topless. They like giving this skirt out. Almost every single girl I've aged up recently has had that skirt on. So, we are going to basically fix her and put her back in all pink. Wouldn't be a bad outfit except for the shoes, of course. And that Anastasia loves pink. Okay, where is her hair? There it is. I was going to say, I know I have it for adults. So, and then we go into clothing. And we're going to give her back a pink top. The top she had on as a teenager was actually a teenager only top. So, we've got to pick out an adult top for her. And for those of you following my um, Lucky Palms Runaway uh, series, you will recognize the outfit I'm going to choose for her. Because it's just an outfit I have pre-made and I don't want to spend a lot of time focusing on create a sim and changing around the girls especially because our main character here is cinderella not anastasia or drusilla but i figured i'd pick up with this as the um next episode didn't want to get too far ahead in the storyline before I filmed the next episode and like I said you guys didn't miss, miss much it was just um, high school and um, just day in day out school and uh, prom Cinder basically missed most of prom anyways because um, she was actually setting, I had her set up the party for Drusilla, so. But she still, and she went for like the last half of it, and she got prom queen, and that's how she also became kind of romantic interests with Edwin. And once she kind of became romantic interest with him, I went in and changed his clothing as well, which I'm going to have to change again because he's going to be aging up today as well. So the next time we see him, we're going to have to age him up as well, or he's going to be aged up. I'll just have to change his clothes. That's one of the flaws of having so much custom content in the game. You never know what you're going to get when you age up. Fatibusa? Something like that. A supernatural top with an into future bottom and into future shoes. Yikes. Shoes and the shorts kind of match, but the top, yeah, no. You know what? I actually used this in a recent LP. And. Or actually in a personal game. Let's make this one instead. I dressed one of my Sims in that one, and it actually turned out actually kind of cool. So here we are going to start out with baby pink. There we go. That kind of works. Something new and different, and it's not white. 
Inside joke, guys. Inside joke. Okay, let's switch out of her shoes. I just, of course, going to give her my go to shoes for. Dressing women in a hurry. Cinder. Sorry. My new kitty gets, I don't know, confused or something. She goes to the bathroom and she like gets lost or something and just starts helplessly meowing. So <laughs> I kind of gotta call her name and reassure her that she's okay. Other socks, Bimba. Hey, kitty. Oh my goodness. That is just something else. Now that's a University Life sweater. Um, Master Sweet Stuff Pack Shorts and Custom Content Boots. Quite the... Uh, collection or quite the ensemble, should we say? And put her in pink and purple that works. And for, so everybody knows that we have made it safety back <laughs> from the little guy. And is now standing on my arm with its cold, cold paws. Babu. You're gonna knock stuff off there, kid. Yeah. Sorry guys, this is taking forever and we still gotta get through Cinder. We're gonna send her on through. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. That's for my one of the mods I have in. If I right click that comes up, so and change out the shoes because yeah working out in sandals would not be a good idea you are just asking to get injured okay let's go with the shoes I almost always use for my athletic wear Okay, I was expecting the reverse, but that works. Okay, and swimwear. Let's see what horrendous thing the computer came up with. Come on. Balumi Lazikna? Oh, a sweet sweets top with a custom content bottom. 
That is hilarious. Okay. The kitty is now kitty. Erkney Burr? Now, see, that wouldn't be bad except for the. The boots did not match the tail. Okay, now the kitty is sitting in my place. There we go, we got Anastasia done. Gazork! We may now choose a trait for Cinder. We'll go ahead and give her green time. Okay. Now let's take a look at what they did to our poor Cinder. So so. Oh my. Not bad, but not good either. At least they let her keep her hair. They didn't make it something hideous like they did for Drusilla and Anastasia. And it's like they have gone as far as making programming to make like a standard hair like you know if you install a custom sim and you don't have the hair installed it always puts that base game hair on it why can't they do that for clothing too just have uh, something simple base game ready for the sim to age up into. We'll give her a better blue. And like I said, I'm just basically changing them back into what they had on as teenagers, just in adult sizes. And I do apologize if this episode gets to be a little long, but it's because we're aging these guys up and they, I, I wanted to take them through cast with you guys so you could share in them aging up as well. Okay, come on. Now those are some butt kicking boots. <laughs> I bought those, or I installed those to use um, in a personal game I'm playing where um, my sim is in college in the university and um, I always give makeovers to the roommates. And one of the roommate girls was a rebel, so I wanted to give her some cool boots. Okay, here we go. There's Cinder's every day, back to the way she was before she aged up.
But now, it's only Friday, we've got two, or she's now a young adult, actually, so she ain't, she don't gotta worry about school. Monday, they will probably have graduation. Wow. Hey, at least they got the shoes, shoe color right. <laughs> Shoes are blue. We'll go ahead and leave the shoes. We'll just change the color. And we'll put the skirt I did have on Sunday back on. So we had. What was it? The base game mini skirt here. Same one I used on her last time. And then we'll just make the blue of the shoes the same as the top. So there is her formal. Now we're going into sleepwear. And again, I do apologize, this takes a while. I have a lot of custom content, so. Let's see what hideous outfit they put her in for sleepwear. Erkney Burr? Uh, not too bad. Not too bad. We've got a base game top and custom content panties and the, um, Snow White shoes. Because <laughs> I have a custom content Snow White outfit. Because I had a personal game when I was doing, or when I was playing Dragon Valley, and um, the one of the households I created was a Cinderella, or not a Cinderella, but a Snow, or blah, yeah, a Snow White household and Snow White had those shoes along with the dress from the movie. And now it's always funny when you see an NPC sim wearing the dress. Like I was playing in Roaring Heights and there was an NPC sim wearing the Snow White dress. It was freaking hilarious. She was just wandering through town and it was so funny. It's like, hey, there's Snow White. Okay. Babu. Now there is something to work out in. <laughs> wow. Yeah. That is something else there, guys. Something else. Okay, guys, I'm trying to hurry here. Just in shorts. Change out her shoes. We do not want to be working out in platform wedges. Okay, 
Tiens, moi. Azazak's Bimba. All righty then. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. And I still do not know why they, um, why, why, why they invent parts for Sims like flippers. But then you can never take the flippers off. I just, and like the same way with glasses or sunglasses or anything of that nature, shoes, it's like, okay, the Sims should be able to take them off. Because you're not going to wear flippers walking around all the time, you're only going to wear them in the water. Or sunglasses. They put sunglasses on people and they can never take them off. So, so. Now, there we go. The Cinderella, or the Snow White shoes with the Grimm's, uh, the Grimm outfit. That's quite interesting. And that was one thing, too, after I got Grimm's Manor. Literally, the first game I played after installing Grimm's Manor, an NPC sim already had the outfit on. Like, that night, it was a full moon, and one of the first zombies to spawn in the yard had that outfit from Grimm's Manor already on. Oh, oh there we go, guys. So, what do we want Cinder to be? Surrounded by family, the Ark Builder, Perfect Garden, Golden Tongue and Golden Fingers, or Bottomless Nectar Collector, or Nectar Seller, excuse me. I think we're going to go ahead and go with Surrounded by Family. Because of her, the way she was raised and everything, I think it would only be... Proper. Okay, guys, and we will just go ahead and pause it here. And the next time that you see everybody, everybody will be aged up uh, tomorrow, or no, in two days, I believe. Yep, in two days, so. The next episode or so, uh, Lady Tremaine will be aging up as well, so we are going to be moving on to the next stage here. I will probably go ahead and play out the party and then just pick up with the, um, later to, later their sim day or the, um, next morning here, so. Lady Tremaine was going to pick up three slices of cake. And yeah, that's what happens when you have all these birthdays on one day here. So, I do thank you guys for watching. Um, please keep in mind, I do have my series, uh, Lucky Palms Runaway, still going. Um, Abriana and Austin got their first house, and um, their baby Liam is now a toddler. And so um, Austin also start also started his uh, job at the fire station. So we're getting these stories moved along here. Um, not too much left for the Cinder story here. Um, basically, uh, just gotta wait for Edvin to age up and then we will go ahead and 
basically get those guys uh, together, get them married and whatnot, and um, probably in the next episode we will have Cinder ask him to move in, and yeah, so him and Cinder can live in her, Cinder's little on-property house, and then we can go ahead and get them a off-property house so that they can uh, start their family. Also, in the next episode, we'll go ahead and pick out um, what her gift from her fairy godmother will be. So, lots to happen yet, but coming to a quick end here. Only a few more episodes. This is episode 21, so probably ending it around, I'd say, 25 or 30 at most. Then I can bring you guys a new series. So please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will catch you in episode 22.